Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how you can use the format function to format a date in Microsoft Excel but using the Visual Basic environment, not using any kind of formula in a workbook. So first go ahead and open up a brand new workbook and in your developers tab go ahead and select Visual Basic and what I'm going to do is insert a macro but the manual way. The drop down arrow right here is going to go on and select that. I accidentally pick user form but I'm going to remove that from the project. Select the drop down arrow and do module. And what we're going to do is to type in sub, format a date, and just going to declare a variable, dim the date as date. If you noticed, um, really quick, toggling back to Microsoft Excel, if I file to go to macros, we've the, the macro formatted date has been added, which is what we're working with right now and we're going to assign a value to the date as date and what we're going to do is to let me show you what this does so far message box the date I'm going to press the play button or F5 so that just gives us today's date but in the default format so we want to put formatted date is equal to format and then all you do is you put in the variable that we're working with and then the format that you want. In this case, I want the day to have single digits. So it'd be month first, day, and then year. And I'm about to say I want the day to have a double digit if it's a single day. So like nine would be zero nine. And we need to change the formatted date, message box to formatted date. And then we play that, you get 11 9 2012, but with a zero on the nine. So if you want it to show the actual day and not the date, you can change to DDD, and that's going to give you FRI for Friday. If we were to put four Ds, that's going to give us the entire day, 11 Friday 2012. And what you can do to get more information about how to use the format function, um, use the help, but the help that's located in the Visual Basic environment, go on and select that, and just look for the format function. And here you'll have a little bit more information about the formatting as to what you can do. Like the day will give you the range of 1 to 30, DD also 1 to 30, but this is where you'll have like days like instead of today just being just the number 9, it'd be 09. They have the week, the months. I mean, this is just a very brief example. And then down here they have some more samples for you. Microsoft Excel has the other ways you can use the format function for for times and dates as well as numbers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this was just to give you a brief demonstration on the format function. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.